secuestradores, la, hubo una fuga masiva de reos, todos sabemos. Eh, debido a esa en esa fuga masiva se fugan dos reos de los secuestradores de México. Uno fue recapturado, pero uno aún sigue libre. A raíz de eso, yo también pedí seguridad en lo que este reo fuera recapturado. Que hasta... In the vast, dangerous world of drug cartels and criminal organizations, the story of Miriam Rodriguez stands as a testament to the unbreakable bond between a mother and her child. This is the true story of a relentless pursuit for justice, a harrowing reminder of the grim reality faced by countless families caught in the crossfire of cartel violence. Welcome back to Storyscape. Before we dive into today's video, take a moment to click that like button and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to also hit that notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Miriam Rodriguez's story is what many people will stay glued to the TV watching as a thriller movie. The story begins in 2012 when her daughter, Karen Rodriguez, was abducted by members of a dangerous drug cartel in Mexico. The group of armed men from the Los Seda cartel forced their way into Karen's pickup truck and took off with her inside. The disappearance of Karen who was a young college student at the time, left her family devastated. Her kidnappers sent shockwaves through the Rodriguez family, leaving them desperate for answers. The first 48 hours are critical when someone goes missing. After that, the chances of finding them alive drop significantly. Waiting for any news during those 48 hours feels like an eternity. And when tragedy struck, Karen's family expected help from the authorities. Sadly, they were let down. With each passing day, Karen's mom, Miriam, couldn't just sit and wait. She was determined to find her missing child. She got to work and tirelessly searched for any leads that might lead her to Karen. After hours of research, Miriam made a shocking discovery. Her daughter's trail led to a dangerous cartel in Mexico known as Los Cetas. Most people would give up after such a scary discovery, but not Miriam. She dug deeper into the criminal world, using disguises and fake identities. While this can be thrilling in the movies, the same cannot be said in real life where it is incredibly dangerous. Miriam's efforts yielded results as she was able to narrow down her search to a couple of gang members that she believed were involved in her daughter's kidnapping. Not giving up, her investigation became even more successful as she eventually gathered enough information to get one of the men involved arrested by the police. Behind bars, the gang member gave up the names of others, one of whom was only 18 years old. Somehow, Miriam was able to convince the teenager to give her the whereabouts of her missing daughter. Unfortunately, when she went to find Karen, Miriam discovered that her daughter had already been killed. Miriam's determination did not stop even after the heart-wrenching revelation about her daughter's murder. She refused to relent in her quest for justice, tirelessly tracking down each individual link to the tragic event. Despite some of the culprits rebuilding their lives with legitimate careers, Miriam remained relentless ensuring that almost everyone involved faced the consequences of their actions. She took it upon herself to bring them to the authorities. Miriam's pursuit of her daughter's killers had her crisscrossing the country and even venturing across the border. With an array of disguises, a fake handgun, and forged identification, this brave mother embarked on a perilous journey to locate and interrogate members of the notorious Los Cetas cartel. Among her targets was a young florist whom she had been pursuing for years. She has relentlessly tracked his movements online, ever since discovering that he had once peddled flowers on the streets before joining the cartel. Things took a positive turn when a tipster alerted Miriam about his whereabouts. Armed with courage and a firearm, she found the man amidst a crowd of vendors near the Mexican US border, where he was selling sunglasses. The moment their eyes met, the man recognized Miriam and attempted to flee but the determined 56-year-old overtook him and tackled him. With her gun raised, Miriam warned him, saying, If you make a move, I'll shoot. She held him captive for nearly an hour, ensuring he remained in custody until the authorities arrived to apprehend him, a testament to her unyielding pursuit of justice. Miriam tirelessly chased down 10 criminals and helped local authorities arrest many involved in the cartel. At one point, she even sat down with one of the cartel members who claimed the cartel didn't have her daughter, 
but offered to find her for $2,000. While pleading for Karen's release, she heard someone on his radio call him Sama. Armed with a fresh lead, Miriam scoured the internet, spending hours sifting through posts and pictures on social media. Her relentless pursuit would later lead her to a vital clue, a tagged photo of Sama standing beside a woman wearing a uniform from an ice cream shop in Ciudad Victoria, a two-hour journey from her current location. This led Miriam to embark on a covert mission, dedicating weeks to studying the daily routine of the women in the ice cream shop uniform. She took her time, waiting for that moment when Sama would make an appearance. Finally, the day came, and with precision, Miriam tailed the duo to their home, keenly noting down their address. To avoid being recognized, she disguised herself by dyeing her hair red and wearing a uniform she had from her previous job at the health ministry. This clever disguise allowed her to move through the neighborhood without arousing suspicion while she conducted her investigation. She eventually found a police officer who was willing to join her in her mission. Unfortunately, Sama had left town by the time an arrest warrant was issued. The trail remained cold but fate had another plan. One fateful day, Miriam's son, Luis, spotted Sama at his store in Ciudad Victoria looking at hats. The authorities were contacted and Sama was arrested. He eventually gave up details surrounding Karen's murder, including the names and whereabouts of his accomplices. Sadly, Miriam's efforts to avenge the death of her daughter eventually led to her demise. She was shot 12 times outside her home on Mother's Day in 2017. In San Fernando, many see her story as an example of Mexico's problems, where people face violence and government neglect. A grieving mother had to find her missing daughter herself and tragically lost her life in the progress. Her determined efforts changed San Fernando, even if it was only for a while with her story documented in case files, witness testimonies, confessions from the criminals she pursued, as well as dozens of interviews with relatives, police officers, friends, officials, and residents. The city honored her with a bronze plaque in the central plaza. Her son, Luis, continued her mission, taking over the group his mother had started, a collective of the many local families whose loved ones had gone missing. Authorities vowed to apprehend her killers. The story of Miriam Rodriguez is one of unwavering love determination, and the relentless pursuit of justice. Her story serves as a powerful reminder of the indomitable spirit of a mother's love and the lengths to which one woman was willing to go to seek justice for her child. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We'll see you in our next video.